Cool guys, what's happening? I'm Chris, I'm the noise at the back, and today we are looking at a Zeta Corsa Competizione. Now, I've been in the gym getting my pump on, um, but I am very pumped for this update. And the reason why I'm pumped about it is because they have added the 2019 roster of cars. Plus, they've also added the uh, Dutch track Zandort, I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, they've also added this wonderful looking McLaren. Now, I think this one is not part of the series, but it's absolutely awesome. Um, but we'll have a quick look at the cars that they have added. We'll do a bit of a spinner around. Now, you can also change the back end, make it lots of different colors, but we're gonna go for a bit of a jazzy pink. But let's go on to the next one. We've got the lovely Mercedes. We've got a couple of options for the Mercedes paint job. Boom, boom, boom. Come on. And then we've got the GTR, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then lovely Porsche. We've got a wonderful Golf uh, oil livery, which has got a lovely combination of black and orange. Not black and yellow, but black and orange. We've got the uh, beautiful Aston, the Vantage. Um, unfortunately, not in the Illuminous Green livery that they have for the WEC, um, but still beautiful. And we've got the Audi R8. Got the Bentley. Really not a fan of that Bentley. I know some people really like it, but it's not my cup of tea. The Beamer, got a classic livery on that one as well. And we've got the Ferrari 488, I think. Yeah. Uh, and we've got the Honda NSX. Very nice. We've got some nice looking liveries on that. We've got the first lot of the Lamborghinis. We've got the Huracan. And it's a GT3 and it's just the normal one. I think the next lot is an Evo version. Not really sure what the differences are, but they do look very nice. Yeah, I don't think there's much difference in them, but you tell me, guys. I don't know so much. And here's the Lexus. Couldn't afford a car, so I named my daughter a Lexus. For all you Kanye West fans out there. Um, and then we're back around. We're back around. Okay, so we need our pink variant. And my driver, I'm going to pick as Bono. Bit of elevation, children. So, we'll have a little bit of a practice. We'll just do a lap round. Um, and I will just talk about a little bit of things that I've noticed away from the track. Um, and there's a big one. So the first big one, is it loading? Yeah, we're loading. We're good, we're good, we're good. Hopefully all my steering wheel and pedals are working because it's been pretty inconsistent with whether I all of a sudden the wheels working but the, the shifters aren't working or the wheels working but the pedals aren't working or the pedals are working and the wheels not working so I've had a it's it's been a little bit fun in games and that's in the same game so I haven't quit the game and come out again that's the same thing so it seems to be a little bit I don't know whether my connections are a bit dodgy but um, setup wise all looks about the same as well Right, one thing I have noticed is in the menus. Go, go, go. Let's let's have a little look at the menus real quick. Um, options, and if we go to video and we go down to the graphic settings, there is something that I felt it really needed, um, and it's called a graphic. Um, it's called a car LOD quality, and that's twenty five percent, and it can go up to hundred percent. But what that is, that's the quality of the other cars on track that aren't in viewing distance. Now I was finding that it was trying to render all of the cars in all the same quality, all high quality. Like I think I've got mine on high somewhere. Yeah, high. Um, but now what it's doing, if they're not in view, it renders them down. So it's not so much CPU heavy because it was absolutely smashing my CPU. And I've got a pretty decent CPU. I've got an i5 uh, 9, uh, 9600K, I think. Um, and it was smashing that to pieces and I was like, that's, that's, that shouldn't be the way, but fingers crossed this is a bit of a change. I've had a race, a couple of races on here, um, not this track, but on, on ones I know pretty well, and it seems to be doing fine. And even in like the busy sections where you've got all like the you've got all like the stands and stuff and lots of things going on in the background, it seems to be pretty rock solid. Now I keep my frame rate at about 84, um, which is I kind of just do that because I know iRacing kind of keeps it around there for some of their online races, so. That for me, that I thought, do you know what? If I keep it there, then everything feels about right. Um, let's have a little drive. Hopefully everything's working. Yeah, we're all good. We're all good. We're all good. Steering wheel's twitching at me and I'm moving, so that's a good sign. 
and I've got acceleration and brake. So one of my biggest complaints with this game is that when you slightly come off or when you hit one of the curbs, it turns into black ice. So let's have a feel. So I, on this game, I'm really nervous about hitting any kind of curb or anything like that. Just I just feel like it will just throw you off massively. Well, I could have gone full throttle around there, to be fair. But it's the first time I've been really dry. I've, I think I've driven this track a few times before, but I can't remember it. So I'm going to go... So we're going to just driving Miss Daisy. The detail's fantastic around the track. All the spectators and stuff like that. But that's pretty standard for this game. I mean, all the tracks look really good. Um, it's feeling pretty good through the wheel. I'm getting some bumps and so on. You can adjust those in the settings, guys. You know, you guys know how this all works. But this this is feeling pretty good. I lo like I said, I love all the detail. I mean, when I'm racing and when I've got my head down, I can't concentrate on anything else. And... That's part of the reason why I don't do me in races, um, because I just have lack of concentration. Like it's quite hard to talk and race and look at the camera, even though the camera's just to my side there. I could just about make eye contact with it, and it flashes blue at me, so I remember to look at the camera. But yeah, no, it feels it, it it feels pretty good. Now I want to really love this game hard because I'm a big fan of the GT cars. Um, but at the moment I really I don't know, it's just something about it I just can't get on with it really um, I notably have been playing a lot of WRC 8 and Grid but hopefully this update will just bring me back into this game because like I said I'm a big fan of the GT cars so I would hope that this game would be you know, this would be my one this would be my boat and I absolutely love the first Zeta Corsa it's funny how it hasn't really kicked on I thought it would be big time, but I think people were worried about the lack of content and the uh, and the online community wasn't great to start with. I think a lot of people weren't a fan of the physics, so I thought it was just me. I thought I was just rubbish at it, um, but actually it seems to be a lot of people think the same thing. So, but I have to say it's feeling really nice. Um, it's the first time I've had a real good go this morning with my new wheel setup and so on, the fanatic stuff. So, but it feels. It was good. Um, so, right, let's be a sensible driver and and should we go in the pits? Oh, no, we'll just bring it off here. That'll do. Cool. Right, guys. Cool. Thanks for tuning in, guys. This, like I said, it's just a quick look. Um, I'm not on fire today in the sense of how I'm feeling. Partly because I wasn't feeling very well yesterday. I had a bit of a dodgy burger. Um, so yeah, so I'm not I'm not flying on all cylinders today. I don't think I'm quite there with my comedy value. Um, but I wanted to get a video out about this um, because I think it's important that this game gets a bit of love um, as it's not had that much from the community. Um, so I wanted to give it some love. But anyway, uh, I hope everybody has a great day. I hope you're keeping well. I'm hoping to get a few more videos out pretty soon. Um, I'm starting a new job on Monday, so hopefully I'll be able to balance it all as well and I've got my study still um, so you know getting that balance right so I might have a couple of late night videos and so on so uh, yeah um, so guys if you like what you see please give me a thumbs up or even give me a thumbs down I'll, I'll take anything at the moment um, just a view would be nice um, but yeah like share and subscribe all the, all the kind of usual YouTube jazz um, and I'll see you guys on the next one peace out <laughs>